guys welcome back to my channel um, today I'm gonna be doing kind of like a day to night tutorial so if you're going on like a daytime date or if you're going on a nighttime date kind of what I will wear or really just get ready with me honestly I just wanted to change outfits that's really all it is <laughs> so if you want to see how I take a daytime look and turn it into a nighttime look then just keep watching Okay. To start, I always use this Mario Badescu rose water just to get my face flat. I like to think it helps me with my skin, but who even really knows? Um, plus, it smells good, so that's always a plus. Um, while that dries, I'm just gonna get my uh, Maybelline baby skin. Put it on my fingers and warm it up a little bit. This stuff actually does serve a purpose though. It makes my pores like invisible without clogging them. Because I know that sometimes um, primers can be kind of filling to your pores, but they also like clog your pores. This doesn't do that. It comes off at the end of the night and doesn't break me out. So two wins. Sorry if you can hear the construction across the street. They've been building these apartment buildings for literally since I've moved into this apartment and it just gets worse and worse at this point. They wake me up every single day at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., and then they go all night, so like until 7 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, I understand that you need to get these apartments built, but at the same time, um, Janessa needs her sleep, so <laughs> something's got to give. I'm just going to use this uh, L'Oreal True Match. My shade is, let's see, W4 Natural Beige or Beige Natural. This is basically just to even out my skin tone before I put my actual foundation on. This is actual foundation, it's just not as full coverage as I want it to be, so I just put this on first, and then I'll put my actual foundation on in a little bit. The thing that I like about these L'Oreal foundations is that they have such a wide shade range. Like they have a lot of undertones, which is good because a lot of brands don't really carry a lot of yellow undertones, it's more pink they do a good job with this one. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Smashbox Studio Skin um, foundation. My shade is 2.3. This is a foundation. This is my favorite foundation. It reminds me a lot of the Milani foundation, only it's not as heavy. I think that the Milani foundation really sits on your skin. It's kind of oily. It's really good. It's a good dupe for this, I think. But this one is so lightweight and you don't need a whole lot, even though it may seem like I just put a whole lot on my face. You don't need a whole lot. And it lasts forever. It says on the bottle it's 15 hours and it really is more than 15 hours. I work really long hours at my job. I'm a server at beat ups and sometimes I'm there the other day I was there from 10 30 in the morning until 1 o'clock in the morning like the next day and girl when I got home my makeup was still intact perfect perfect okay next I'm gonna take this Tarte shape tape concealer and light medium honey and just put it underneath my eyes um, down the center of my nose, on my chin, basically just my whole face. My forehead. And then I like to put it, um, like a line right here. Because when I bake later, it'll make my jawline look a little bit sharper than it actually is. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. Once that's 
blend it out, I'm just going to take this Cody Airspun Powder yeah, and set the rest of my face. I like to take the flat top side of the Beauty Blender and get on the bottom part of my cheek and just kind of make a line. And then I'll take the rounded point and press it underneath my eyes so that there's no um, creasing. Set my nose. This powder sets stuff in like in a way that I've never seen before. I, well, I didn't get in the pool, but I got thrown into the, the pool when I was at my brother's house the other day. And girl, my makeup was silk. Like, it, it didn't go anywhere. And I was like, wow, this is magic. You can get dunked underneath the water and still have your full face. That's a miracle. Okay, so now I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Powder and just a flat top kabuki and I'm just going to swirl and pat it into my face and kind of at the same time brush away all that extra powder that was left on my face. I don't like to put this underneath my eyes just because it's um, kind of heavy and I don't want, it's not the right shade to go underneath my eyes anyway. so pat it all over. This makes my skin look kind of airbrushed because it like fills the pores it, like it's called Man Pearless Duh. But um yeah it just makes my skin look smooth. I suppose I probably should um tell you some stuff about myself. Uh so what's interesting? I'm a senior now at Indiana University. I study psychology and I have minors in African American diaspora studies and counseling. Um, but I really want to be a nurse, so the degree doesn't really make sense, but you know, we're going to get it anyway because we're almost there. Um, before I keep running my mouth, I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild contouring palette and put it on this Morphe R2 and just contour my cheeks a little bit. So yeah, I used to study um, biology my first year, and I tried to study nursing, couldn't pass math. Well, I, I can, I did pass math, just not to the degree that IU needed me to, to get into the nursing program my first year, so I was like, okay, switched to psychology, now I'm just winging it, basically, <laughs> almost done. Um, but I will go to nursing school after I'm done here with this degree. Um, what else? I'm a server. I work at Buffalo Wild Wings, home of the Wang. Just kidding. Um, yeah, but I love my job. It's so fun. Um, long hours, hard work, but it's worth it. You meet a lot of new people and a lot of the times people are really good to you, so... No complaints there. I always lose this brush. Okay, well, I can't find the brush that I used to contour my nose anywhere, which is really funny considering I haven't moved anything off this table since I filmed yesterday, but, you know, whatever. Someone probably broke in my house and stole it just the brush nothing else okay so I'm just gonna use this I guess Morphe M441 uh, and dip into the same contour palette and hopefully this doesn't jack my whole face up because I've never used this brush before so we'll see I'm not good at contouring my nose at all so I just kind of doop 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 and then I'm done brush bag. Whoever took it can have it. So 
so now I'm just going to take this regular Morphe M438 brush and my nose itches. Uh, dip back into the matte and poreless powder and just go down the sides of my nose so it's not so harsh. And to contour it a tiny bit more, I'm going to take the Urban Cage Shape Shifter Skin Palette and just use this contour shade from the powder side. There's a powder side and a cream side, but I don't really mess around with cream. put that in the same place as where I contoured. I like to start at the top of my ear and just go down like towards the end of my or the sides of my mouth just because it makes my face look you know sharp. For let's see what are we doing next. Blush. I'm going to use this Morphe palette, it's the new, not new, but it's a blush palette and it has like eight blushes, but I don't really consider these shimmer ones blushes because I would never put those on my cheeks, um, so we call those highlighters, but I'm going to take this, I don't even know, this is BH Cosmetics brush, no number nothing on it, so it just came out of a palette, or not, not a palette, like a brush that but I love it for blush because it's kind of tapered I, just put, I use the colors unapologetic and MUA and sometimes if I'm feeling bold I dip into this provocative shade I just put it all over the cheeks I love blush so it can get a little crazy in here These construction workers are really cute on my vibe. But you know, that's their job, so I can't be too mad. Okay. One thing that I like to do after I do all the powders is just like spray it again, just to set a little bit of the powders. So I'm gonna spray some rose water on there, and then I'm gonna spray this Wet n Wild uh, finishing spray. And then we're done. No, I'm just um, look like I've been sweating in the gym. I just worked out. Okay, so uh, to do my eyebrows, I just take this Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I use uh, my eyes. The darkest, ooh, girl, that looks beat up. The darkest shade and just fill in a little bit and then I'll go back in with a smaller brush later and some actual brow products and um, fix them. I just want a little bit of color in there beforehand so that when I go in with the brow product it doesn't have to be too much and too harsh. benefit cabrow thing with a little wand thing that comes with it and I'm gonna have to scoot up because I can't see I try to stay away from like the inner um, corner of my eyebrows with like heavy brow products just because it looks really fake when you uh, have like a box as your eyebrow. I like to make it look more natural with the real hair. And don't worry, I know it's messy, 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 but we can clean it up. So don't worry. Don't worry about me, worry about yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to take this shape tape and this little tapered eye brush and get a little bit on there and just clean up the edges.
Okay, now I'm just going to use a little bit of this Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just push them up. Okay, what next? I'm just gonna do a little bit of something on the eyes because I'm gonna try to do like a day to night look. So I don't want something too dramatic on the eyes for the day and then at night. I don't really wear a lot of eye makeup in general so I'm just gonna do something like very, 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 very basic. So I'm just gonna take that Morphe M573 brush and um, let's dip it into the contour and just put it all over my eye. This is what I do on like a day to day basis because I don't really wear eyeshadow like that. I like to have basic eyeshadow so that way you can really wear whatever you want and then you can just put on lipstick if you want to like jazz it up. I'm just going to take a pencil brush, this is the M506, and put it in the uh, contour shade again and just run it underneath my eye. And then I'm going to dip into the shade and light palette and just dip into that deepest contour shade again and run it underneath my eye. I um, only on the outside corner though because I want to use it to make my eyes look a little bit bigger than they actually are. Even though I have the biggest bug eyes already. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to do for the eyes right now. For this look number one um, but what I am gonna do is put some lash glue on my lashes I'm gonna use these lashes I've never used them before they're the eye lore and jasmine brown lashes are really dramatic but it's fine it's really okay I'm not going anywhere oh it comes with glue that's so cute um, oh girl this band is Thick. Hopefully, I can get these on. I don't know. We'll see. I never use dramatic lashes like this. So, I'm just going to put some lash glue on these lashes. I'm not going to use the lash glue that came with it just because I know that this duo has never done me wrong. And plus, it dries black, and these lashes are really black, so I really feel like I need all the help that I can get. Okay, while I wait for that to dry up, I'm just going to put some mascara on. To highlight my nose, I'm going to use this Carly Bible palette. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. She's been through the ringer. Um, and I'm actually just going to use an eyeshadow to highlight my nose. Who stole this brush? Girl, if someone stole my highlighting brush from my nose, it's oh. It was about to be war in this house. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the M213 and I take that back. I'm gonna use a little bit of the highlighter from the Shifter Skin Palette. I'm gonna use that champagne color and just highlight down the center of my nose. And then to take, to make it a little bit more dramatic, I'm gonna take this white shade out of this palette and just put a little bit in the middle, like in the very center and at the top. Just blend it out with your finger. And then I'm gonna highlight the rest of my face with this fan brush. 
I'm just using that Shape Shifter palette again on the tops of my cheeks. I'll use this Babe in Paradise palette again, the Morphe Bretman um, palette, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of Baby Girl and a little bit of Vacation and just put it at the very top because it's just pigmented. Yeah, girl. We're glowing. For some reason, this splash glue does not look dry. Oh, well, it's good enough. We'll see. Pray I don't get this in my eyes. I'm gonna have to scoop way up. Cause you girl can't see. Oh yeah, these are dramatic. minutes later the lashes are on if you're new to putting lashes on I wouldn't recommend these first just because the band is so thick it's kind of hard to get it to stay on especially in the inner corner but they're beautiful just kind of dramatic okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lash and then why can't I not find anything today I can't find anything okay. so I'm just gonna put some more mascara on my lashes on the bottom I'm gonna try to make them as long as I can because these top lashes are I think I'm gonna highlight the inner corner just a wee bit. So I'm gonna use that same brush that's now fallen on the blur. And I'm just gonna use the Naked Skin Palette again. Not the Naked Skin, the Urban Decay Skin Palette. Just put a little bit of color, light into the inner corner. And since I'm doing kind of like a day to night tutorial, well, first, just one second, hold on. Back up, Janessa, back up. I'm gonna put, um, eyeliner in my waterline just because these eyelashes are so black I don't want it to show any skin <sighs> crying okay look how dramatic these eyelashes are I'm gonna fly away okay so um, for the first lip I'm gonna just use like a neutral lip maybe I'll mix two so um, I'm gonna use these liquid cat suit lipsticks liquid lipsticks in rebel rose and gimme mocha but first chapstick um, um, yeah, I was supposed to be telling you about myself and then I forgot, so what do you want to know? I'm 21, almost 22. That's all I got. <laughs> My favorite makeup item is lipstick for sure. Mm -hmm. Blush, lipstick, and eyelashes. If I could just have three things... Oh, highlighter okay I just I just like it all honestly 
So what were we, what were we even doing? What were we even doing? Lipstick. So I'm gonna use this soft spoken lip liner. This is my favorite lip liner of all time. This is like, it goes with every single lipstick. And if it doesn't, then I make it go with every single lipstick. So. Juicy. So first I'll use a little bit of the Gimme Mocha, just cause it's my favorite color. I don't want her to feel left out. And then I'm gonna take the Rebel Rose and just put it on top and mix them together. So, let's see. I'm gonna go pick out a daytime outfit, just like something that I will wear during the day. And I'll be right back. Before I show you my outfit, I'm just gonna highlight my like collarbones and my shoulders, just cause when I wear stuff that's sleeveless or where you can like see my chest, I just love to do that. I just really, love to do anything that involves highlighter so why not so I'm just gonna take this babe in paradise palette again and take um, that fan brush and just dip into all of them just everything and highlight my collarbones my shoulders Just extra. Oh, and I need to highlight my Cupid's book too. Can't forget. Okay. So now I'll show you my outfit. Okay, for my outfit, I just put on this mint green kind of jumpsuit, romper, whatever you call it. I call it a romper. Um, yeah, it's really cute. It just laces up ties around the waist and then I paired it with these don't look at my ashy legs I paired it with these gold lace up flats I think it's really cute if you're going out on a date during the day or even if you just want to wear you know how to be going out on a date but um yeah so that's outfit number one and next I'll do like a date night kind of look if you're going out during the night time because it's kind of a more dramatic outfit if you will so I'll be right back Okay, so I just took my lipstick off because for this next look, I want a red lip just because I'm wearing all black and I think it would look cute with red lips. Um, you really could use any lip though if you're not comfortable wearing red lips. I just think that they're pretty. So um, I took my pink lips off and I'm just going to start by lining my lips with this NYX um, Matte Lip Liner in Kitten Heels. My lips are so dry. When you use like, I don't know, I use oilish makeup remover and my lips are chat girl. Okay, so just gonna line my lips a little bit. And I'm not gonna talk because I'm just gonna mess it up if I do so. take ColourPop lipstick in Ariba and just put it all over my lips. So pretty. And because I'm doing like a bolder lip, I'm just going to put some black eyeliner on my waterline just to make it a little bit more smoky and bold. And I'm going to take um, a pencil brush and just put some more of that um, 
bronzer on it and smudging underneath the waterline. Just to make it a little more smoky. time I sneezed and my eyelash fell off like it wasn't glued on all the way <laughs> girl that joint was gone okay so this is what the makeup looks like so far I think it's pretty the eyelashes are definitely out there but I think they're beautiful so now I'm just gonna show you the second outfit and then we'll wrap this up because it's been a long time okay Okay, for the second outfit, I just picked out this um, long jumpsuit, wide legs, and then um, lace-up black flats. You could also use heels, but I just want to be comfortable. And um, I put my hair up in a ponytail. I don't know if I would wear it in a ponytail, but for the sake of this look, I put it in a ponytail and then just um, drop earrings. Um, this is it actually not a part of the jumpsuit it's a black bandeau but this was a little bit revealing for my personal taste so i just put that underneath there but i think it's cute it's a cute little date night outfit um if you're going out or even if you're just going out with your friends it'd be a cute outfit to throw on and it's so comfy it's like a velvet kind of material i love it so um let's wrap this video up because it's already like 45 minutes long. So. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you want to keep up with me some more and see more tutorials, then subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you later. Have a good day.